In this problem, we're given these parametric equations that represent a circle. So all we have to do in this problem is take these parametric equations and write them in what's called rectangular form. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first step is to solve each of these equations for the trig function. So in the first equation, we'll start by subtracting h from both sides. So we end up with x minus h equals r cosine of theta. Now to finish solving for cosine, we'll just divide both sides by r. So divide by r, divide by r. That leaves us with cosine of theta is equal to x minus h all divided by r. Over here we do the same thing. We solve for the sine of theta. So we subtract k from both sides. That leaves us with y minus k equals r sine of theta. And then to finish solving for the sine function, we simply divide by r. So divide by r, divide by r. That leaves us with the sine of theta is equal to y minus k, all divided by r. So now that we've solved for the trig functions, we use a familiar identity. Recall that cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta is equal to 1. So now we just plug everything in. So our cosine is x minus h over r, so it'll be x minus h over r quantity squared plus our sine of theta is y minus k over r, so it'll be y minus k over r quantity squared, and that's equal to 1. We have a fraction and it's being squared, so we can square both the numerator and the denominator. So that'll give us that. And over here, same thing, we have y minus k squared over r squared. And this is all equal to 1. The last thing maybe to do is multiply by r squared. So multiply by r squared, multiply by r squared, multiply by r squared. And we end up with the equation of a circle. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. This is the rectangular equation of a circle. This is the equation of a circle with center hk and with radius r. So these parametric equations in, that were given originally in the problem uh, are the parametric equations for a circle with center hk and radius r. And so all we did was convert them to the more familiar rectangular form. I hope this video has been helpful.